Well, hello and welcome back to uh, Banished. This is Fort Hope, and my name is Bluebelly. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for checking it out. I really appreciate you being here. We are working on a what is a unique build for me. We're building this huge fort down here. Uh, it's as of right now extended over to this little lake down to the mountain and then we're gonna have uh, this section over here is gonna be for military presence so we're gonna put in some company streets a lot of tents and that kind of thing for our military and this is gonna be like a downtown area uh, mostly in through here and then this over here will be a little bit more agriculture. You can see we started some fields. Uh, we'll put some dock related things here so we can get food out of this lake. I don't know if I will develop this or not. I might, uh, I might extend the fort walls that way. But this is where we started. If you're new to the series, this is where we started. This is our small little fort. You'll notice that there are some wonky corners and some bad connections because I was still learning the tools. So I would like to come up here and fix that at some point. But for right now, we are pretty happy to be where we're at. We're pushing almost 3,000 logs. We've got fish coming in. We've got reeds that are providing the backbone for our little economy, if you want to call it that. Um, I'm pretty happy with where we're at overall. Um, we've got a variety of food coming in. You can see here our health is four and a half stars and our happiness is four and a half stars, which is, I would say, very good for, oh my goodness, we have almost 500 herbs. Very nice. So I don't, I do believe that this herbalist is a place that people can go to get medicine, uh, which is good because I think that those are the kinds of things, yeah, so there's 200 herbs here at the urban market. So these people, that's improving their health because they don't have to walk all the way out there. I like it. So... Uh, we just last episode put in this cotton. We're going to have two cotton fields here, but we just did one. And now we're going to turn cotton into cloth. If you're wondering why we are choosing to do that, it's because, and I hope you can see, uh, it's rather small. These icons are very small down here in the corner. But this, oh, I hope that's the right thing. I'm going to scream if it's not. Yeah, okay, so that looks like the same icon. It appears that we're going to need a musket and four cloth to make a tent. So now we need to figure out, you know, if this starts making cloth, we're going to need to figure out where we can make muskets and I believe that we can make them up here at the Fort Blacksmith. We need an iron, a piece of iron, a log, and 10 firewood. So we're gonna go ahead and start producing muskets at this point. We have this producing coal, we have this forge producing our iron for us, We've got this blacksmith producing iron tools. Um, I keep getting confused between things that are in this compared to things that are in the red ketchup mod. So let's go ahead and take a look at our demographics before that beeps and tells us we've got a trader. Our demographics are showing 34 families and 31 homes. So we'll go ahead and place two more town homes. Town abodes, I'm sorry, town abodes. That'll get us closer to that balance. And 
we have we don't need ducks. So another thing that's going on with this series that I've never seen before is oh they got wool. They got wool finally. Okay, all right. I'm less angry now. There was a bug and I was not able to get wool for a few seasons. Maybe it maybe it's not a bug. I just didn't notice it before. But that's fantastic. Maybe it was a season thing and I just didn't... I swear, though, I had them for a few seasons and they were not producing wool. But now that we've got wool, that will be helpful. We can put... We can store wool. It doesn't go bad. So we can eventually put this tailor on wool coats as well. Or maybe we just go straight to warm coats. They would be more durable. That might be the way to go. And we'll put the clothing limit. Ah, let's leave it at 100 for now. What are we sitting at? 80-ish? Low 90s, I guess that'd be. So, good deal. The quartermaster has gotten us 16 military supplies, which is amazing. I didn't see those come in yet, but they apparently did. So... We need to pay attention to what we need military supplies for. Boop, boop, boop. Well, this magazine, we're definitely going to build that at some point. Wagon Market, Fort Well. Okay, the uniform maker is a military specialist concentrating on the production of proud military uniforms. These uniforms are essential to the morale of soldiers in battle are an important component of your military strength. It makes full livery only. Okay. So we'll definitely build one of those, but we want to build other things first. So the block house needs 80. Needs 16 rifles and whatever those two things are. So the block house will maybe be somewhere up here as part of our separation between the military section and the not military that seems important okay we have the quartermaster built the work camp boy that's 60 of those things the forward post parade ground is a decorative feature okay how big oh oh yeah Oh yeah, that's that's for sure. What is that thing? Wood and what is that? Metal? Steel? Can I make that? Whatever that icon is? I'm going to have to look at the... Oh, that is a cannon. What? Like You need a cannon to make a cannon? Hello? All right, we need to we need to go to the tools. This help me find oh arrowheads. Weird. Wait, no. Charcoal chocolate. Mm, yummy. Some of these things you can only trade for. You can't produce. Corn. Crayfish. Cured deer. None of this looks like that. Are you serious? Is it just firewood? Is that all that is? No. It kind of does look like that, though. It's just a super tiny version. Hide coat, iron, maybe. Is that iron? No. Wouldn't be mutton. Pewter. It's not pewter. Silver fennig, not stone, not 
Is that tin? I genuinely can't tell what it is. I went through the whole list. None of those look right. Well, I don't know what to say. Could it be iron? I'll tell you what, if you are in this chat or the in this video and you know what that thing is, please let me know. I need it for the blockhouse, I need it for the forward post, and I need it to make the cannon. And I cannot tell what it is. I went through the whole list. It could be something as simple as firewood. It could be something as complex as pewter or something that I have to produce. I don't I don't know. Can't solve the riddle. Alright, let's see what they brought us. They brought more seeds which is nice but we're doing all right on food so i think <clears throat> i think i pass on that for now keep saving up all right, we got those two houses built. We got two young families in there. Lovely. Let's go ahead and open this and get the built barn built. That'll help with storage time. Oh, look at all that cloth! Beautiful. Have we produced any muskets yet? We have. All right, let's go ahead and start. Oh, this is so cool. I think if we do maybe the parade, I don't know. Should the parade ground be over here maybe between the civilians? Maybe the parade ground here and the blockhouse there. I don't know. But I want to I want to do I want to do on wait where's that right there two three four you put okay All right now let's look I feel like it makes sense that the uniform maker would be up here by the quartermaster because he's going to need supplies from the quartermaster. So we'll put the uniform maker up there. Basic pay tools and energy of restless garrison and the basic resources. Post will generate many useful items for your colony. Lucrative building supplies, artifacts, rare trade goods. Alright, so I think this is... Oh, those are domesticated animals, I bet. But that's what those are. I wonder if this is something that I should put, like, make it a forward post. Like put it away from the fort. What if I put it up here somewhere? I don't think we're quite ready for that. 
we want to get our main our main area settled. I think we do want to put in the work camp. All right, if the if the uniform maker is there, maybe we can put a few of these work camps in. Like here and here. And if that looks dumb, I can always move them. But all right, let's go ahead and remove these resources. So we'll have a nice clean area there. Why are you cold? Don't be cold. Go get firewood. It's literally right down here. All right. I'm bummed about that urban school, but I don't know. Did I end up? Yeah, I did put the tail in. Okay, perfect. And that's got cotton. That's working on making cloth. Okay, let's see. Did they start on the barn? They built it. That was insane. Very nice. So are we still making building supplies? Let's check our inventory. Boy, this, this town went from like meh to productive in two episodes. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Cotton and iron and wool and chicken and reeds. Yes. Oh, coffee. Tobacco. Interesting. Is it worth is it worth trading for some of this stuff? I mean, I feel like coffee is one of those things that's like pure luxury, but we've got the reeds. We could do reeds and leather and have it right now. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to buy the coffee seeds. Uh, at some point, we'll get tobacco, but not today. I don't want to do that big of a coffee field. Maybe I'll put another field right here. That seems... Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Then uh, once they get done with this clearing... Oh, that is going to be so cool. Cloth, military supplies. I wonder if I should put another this thing down there, Fort Blacksmith. Oh, he's still making rough tools up here. Hmm. Can it make, what else could this thing make? Rope, all right, survival coats, fire bundles, hmm. all right. How's this one doing on tool production? I think we might need to put another blacksmith in. I think this one's going to get behind. Do I have a... Yeah. Maybe I'll do another one of these buildings and put a blacksmith as the first floor from over here. Put a road up that way. Let's do three-story building, 
with a blacksmith downstairs. And a house on the second floor. And let's go ahead and put two more town abodes right there. So we should be able to fit maybe three more houses. And this is going to be a nice downtown area. And I think we're going to go ahead and bring a road. We're going to make this a double road and this a double road. And this will be like a downtown block. Eventually that will be a stone street. Yeah. I don't know what I want to put there. Something might need it, like something like a tavern in there would be great. Or a tavern up on this corner, making wine out of our ample grape supply. Something like that. Okay. Oh, look at this, dude. Yes, this is so cool. This has got to be getting close. Nice. Uh, let's see what else we can put in here. Uh, before we end the episode. Musket range. Yeah, that makes sense. A musket range somewhere in through here. Makes sense. And we have the stuff to make that pretty much right away. Uh, barracks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to put some barracks in. But we don't need that yet. I'm... Hmm. Maybe we'll do company streets over here and some barracks up along the road, something like that. Barracks, a small, this magazine for sure, for sure. Maybe we put, I don't know, I keep wanting to put everything here because there's something about like the confluence of the military and the town that just makes sense to me are people actually going to sleep in these tents no nah, they're they're just decoration all right fort blacksmith uniform maker that's what is that what i have up here yeah uniform. i think we're going to put the fort blacksmith opposite of the uniform maker right there we'll put fort blacksmith and then the block house Whatever those horse-looking things are, that's going to be a problem. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that, everyone. I think I think we put the blockhouse here. That's what I think. And then we put the parade ground. here what if we have room to make this a double road also maybe we'll see what that does I love it. I love it. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.